you already answered the question. I'm going to speak. He's like, he's uh, already aware of the answer that is coming from this end. Well, according to the statement that you made in this house on 22nd November 2023, the Higher Education Commission took the initiative on and re do the advertisement calling for expression of interest, and they have made the appointments of the new ARC. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Say, I agree with the Honorable Minister for Education that uh, I suggested uh, Honorable Minister to re-look at the composition of the review committee. Uh, my question is, though the appointment lasted for a very short period of time, it must have come at a cost. So what is the total cost incurred of that mistake? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. He's a former HR director of the Ministry of Education. He's aware of the appointment process that we undertaken. The appointment that was done initially, there was no cost involved. Incurred in terms of the ERC that were appointed. Yes, Honorable Pramila. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. My question to the minister is, now that you have got a new team or new set of uh, committee established, uh, by when do you expect the report to be out? We have already lost quite a bit of time in appointing committees rather than getting the committees to do their work. So by when do you expect the report to be out? Thank you. Yes, Honorable Minister. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker, sir. The review of the committee as mandated in the Act usually takes a cycle of five to seven years. And uh, the University of the South Pacific is the only university that was reviewed in 2019. So uh, University of Fiji and uh, Fiji National University have not been put through this process of review. And uh, the concerns that have been uh, raised from students and parents and guardians who, uh, whom the students have attended these universities are quite many in terms of uh, relevancy of the courses, the duration of the courses, the accessibility of the courses, the cost of attending the universities. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is the fifth year uh, that guarantees, uh, that is mandated to have this university come under review, because the last one was 2019. So they will be completing this uh, review towards uh, 30th October 2024. Because of the changes due to the concerns that were raised by the Honorable Member, the initial deadline that was uh, mentioned in this House has been uh, reviewed, and now it's 30th October 2024. Thank you. Thank you. And I make that the last uh, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the uh, Honorable Minister for the replies to his questions. I am um, thankful that he finally decided to do the approach of EOI because it is more transparent. But my question is, what sort of advice was given to him earlier on that led to the appointment of the initial set of committee members without going through the transparent process of the EOI? What sort of advice was proffered to him that led to that mistake, which was apparently a mistake? That the decision that was apparently a mistake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think that's a pretty difficult question to raise because you're asking about what sort of advice was given. Uh, but I leave it to the Honorable <coughs> Minister. So, so if, uh, as I've uh, earlier advised, the appointment was done according to the uh, Higher Education Commission as per the decisions of the, uh, uh, the Higher Education Commissioners. Thank you. Thank you.